5. Pitch, Intervals, and Key Areas Some sounds have an identifiable characteristic that we refer to as its pitch. But what exactly do we mean by that? And why do some sounds have this property while others don't? Pitch is a complex phenomenon. When a vibrating object creates pressure variations in the air that repeat at a fixed rate, we refer to that rate as the frequency. Some sounds, like sine tones, consist of a single frequency which is logarithmically correlated to our experience of pitch. Other sounds, in fact most sounds we hear, consist of many frequencies that fuse together into a single percept. If the different frequencies that comprise a sound vibrate at whole number multiples of a single frequency, we call these sounds harmonic, and tend to assign the overall pitch of the sound to that single least common multiple, even if it isn't present. This harmonic relationship between components, along with other perceptual cues, helps us keep track of a single person's voice at a party, or a particular instrument in an ensemble, even in complex sonic textures of similar sources. The relationship of the harmonics of one pitch to those of another plays a strong role in our qualitative experience of the musical interval between these pitches, and likewise, these relationships form the basis of our notions of musical keys.